European Starter Heart Day has come to Courtmore School, where groups of Year 9 students are learning cardiopulmonary resuscitation, also known as CPR. Fleet and Church Crookham first responders are leading the sessions and hope to teach the 14 to 15 year olds how to save lives. Well, today is the European Restart of Heart Day and what we're trying to do is all over Europe and mainly in the UK is train as many students as possible within schools on how to do CPR. It's happening in other schools today in Fleet and Church Crookham as well and right across the country. There will be thousands of children who by this evening will know how to save a life. They have mannequins in which they can, they can practice on. We're teaching them how to do CPR, what a defibrillator is, and also how to put an unconscious patient into the recovery position. The CPR that we're teaching them is a vital skill. It's easy, anyone can do it. And you double the chance of somebody survival who's had a cardiac arrest if you start chest compression straight away. And if you can get a defibrillator to them quickly, you can treble the chance. Time is everything in this, and we're teaching the students how to do chest compressions, not to panic, how to send for help, and they can make a real difference and save a life. We've had two really good sessions, we've got two more to go, um, gone really well, and uh, they're learning the skill, they're learning how to do chest compressions, and how much of a difference they can make. Every minute, the chance of survival decreases by 10%, so they can make a real difference using this skill which they've learned today. Pupils were taught to always call for help, ring the emergency services and look for danger before attempting resuscitation. The school's 220 Year 9 pupils also watched videos about people who had saved the lives of family members and strangers using CPR. Courtmore head teacher Paul Jenkins says the school is working hard to maintain the basic life skills of its pupils. It's something that we do a little bit of, but it's one of those things that actually you need refreshers of and you need to do more and more of. You know, the school's got a defibrillator, so some of the staff are trained in that, um, but I think it's a, a basic life skill that everybody should have because you never know what you're going to come across in those first few minutes. If you can keep calm and have some idea about what you're doing, you, you can save a life and you can change a life and that is such a powerful message for those young people. Well, we were approached by um, Clare Park Hospital and by Fleet First Responders who work in the community and do first aid stuff and it's something that we've been wondering about for a while actually. about. We're not just producing exam results, we have to produce well-rounded citizens and children that can cope in the outside world. And actually it's very important for their learning that they see that what they do in lessons isn't all they have to pick up at school. So actually something like this is really crucial to them. The students seem to have taken it really seriously. I think that's really nice that they've, I mean, it's worked alongside, they've been doing work in science this morning about dissecting hearts, understanding that system. So it's great for them to see that practical application and to understand how what they learn in lessons and what they need to do in life aren't actually as dissociated from each other as they think sometimes. There are approximately 2,300 portable defibrillators in the south central region of England, some being publicly available to use in the case of an emergency. In the event of cardiac arrest, the availability of a defibrillator, as well as being able to perform CPR, could treble the chance of survival. Chris Jones, that's TV.